So with The Last of Us Season 1 being over, we are here to talk about and rank the nine episodes. I don't tend to do this for many shows, but I feel this is a show where you can truly define between the episodes, have a conversation, and understand which is the worst episode, which was the best episode. So we're going to delve into this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below in the comments your top one or top three. <laughs> And obviously, again, these are my opinions. Do not shoot me for being a different or, I mean, we might have the same things. So, of course, let's dive into ranking the nine episodes of The Last of Us. <clears throat> so, starting in ninth, and I'm going to throw this out there. There are no agendas. There are no homophobic thoughts. There are no racist reasonings. <clears throat> This is my order, and sim I will give my reason for every episode. Number three, episode three, with Bill and Ted, whatever his name is, it Bill and Ted, Bill and Bill and Frank, is the last is, is in last place. And I'm going to tell you this: I am all for people being gay, same sex relationship. You know, do whatever you want with your life. It was a joyful relationship, but this episode brought nothing to the show and you can tell because there was barely any mentions of bill after i believe there's more mentions of bill in the game that actually made sense than in this bill did not need to die by killing bill off you basically eliminated any reason to include these people in the show because their relationship was with tess and Joel was always going to get Ellie to the end point because of Tess's death. So this episode, you can almost exclude it from existence. Um, that's nothing against the acting. That's nothing against what they brought to the show. <clears throat> it just didn't marinate well with me and my opinion. So, eighth on this list. And these are basically joint. <clears throat> and it's four. Episode four. And this is the introduction of the Hunters, a storyline that didn't need to be portrayed in the way it did. All they needed was random Hunters who were willing to kill anyone that had entered the city, and that'd be that. Seventh on the list is five. These are perfectly slap-banged in the middle because it includes Sam and Henry, two characters I just don't care for again. You know, they changed, I think, it, is it Sam who's the younger one, to a deaf actor for no reason. I mean, again, nothing against deaf people, but it was a random change and a change that didn't need to happen. I, I, I often look at things and go, why was that change? Like, if there was a meaning behind it, then <clears throat> it's like, I, I don't understand. I, 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 I want to get in Neil's mind to be like, we're going to change that. I don't know why, but it's going to change that. But yeah, and you know, they made a villain, a, 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 a leader of the Hunters in Kathleen pointless. Who cares about Kathleen? It was just, she. I mean, nothing went against the actress because she's brilliant in Yellow Jackets, but it was one of those things, you're here for what reason, sorry? And she ended up getting killed by an infected. Make it make sense. Um, so we've gone through nine, eight, seven. In sixth place is going to be episode two. Episode two, and a big thing about this is is the way they changed Tess's death. Um, I feel the tension was there with the clickers. I think that was a brilliant, brilliant thing. But I think for the most part, the episode just didn't work for me. With the they made this thing of the connection of zombies through the fungi in the ground, and they never used it ever again. So it's like you introduced something that was kind of cool that I was up all, all for. You didn't do anything with. You killed Tess off in a, in a different way that was weird. Didn't work. And you didn't show Joel's capabilities of killing hunters, or Fedra, whoever it was, which would have led to, you know, the Fedra people possibly try to kill them later on. So... Again, you, you read into these episodes and a lot of them start not to make sense and the connectivity sort of goes away. So, it's kind of laughable. Um, 
in fifth place. Um, I'm going to go with episode seven. This is the Riley episode. Um, I think this deserves to be slap bang in the middle because there was, in, there was a lot more enjoyability to this episode than any of the previous episodes I've discussed. As I said, Stormy wasn't the greatest, but she did a, a an okay job, enough to tolerate the episode. Um, and it was good to just see Bella Ramsey try and do an episode by herself. Again, this is why... I'm intrigued for the future because Bella Ramsey didn't carry the episode. She carried the episode in comparison to Storm Reed, but it it's still a very mere episode in comparison to, you know, she has to up her game, basically. And I, I believe she will. So we'll have to wait and see. In fourth place, I'm going to be going with Kin. And this is the episode where Tommy returns. I think, you know, it's an enjoyable episode. Uh, I like some of the interactions between um, uh, Joel and Tommy. Obviously, a very emotional scene between Ellie and Joel where she's like, I've lost everybody except you. And then ultimately, they start a makeup at the end. And that's where their story towards Joel's, you know, he obviously gets stabbed at the end. So I think it's a very enjoyable episode. A very, it's very much Joel and Ellie at the core, but you also get the return of Tommy, you get to meet Maria, there's a lot to it, so I'm very excited to see more of them in season two, but we're down to the final three I don't think you could have had a final three without the final two episodes Um, and the first episode and by the way, I you know you can go back and probably look at my ratings and maybe the ninth episode is not um as high as the others, but I think purely because maybe of the hospital scene, I'm putting it this high, and maybe because the rest of the episodes are really lackluster, in my opinion. I think this is a very lackluster series. Um, so you can go check out my um, full season review as well. But I think in third place is episode nine, Look for the Light. Um, as you know, this is to do with you know Anna giving birth, you know, it's the hospital scene. Uh, there's a lot to it, you know. Um, my honest opinion, you know, the only episode I'd swap this with if I wanted to, but I think because it's the ninth episode, it does. The the, the hospital scene is solid. Uh, I just think it's very. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of issues with the episode. That's what I want to say. The only episode I would swap it with is Kin. Um. So, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it a third. I think it's a a a, a good episode. There's n- there's only one solid episode in this category, and number two is not it of course episode two is the first episode of the season i think it's a great introduction a great thing to introduce us to ellie marlene joel tommy uh, you know sarah you know the the fungi infection the whole driving sequence at the beginning i i thought the way they adapted this episode was terrific and brilliant but it was traumatizing when they had to throw that kid into the fire after showcasing the possibility of him being fine, even though as an audience we knew he was going to die. But I think it was a terrific way to open the show. It's just a shame it went downhill in every standard possible. Even though there's enjoyability there, I just feel this the first episode set the bar too high, maybe. I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah, and again, people can have their own opinions. It's going to be one of those things. I'm just not going to be one of these people sitting here going, Oh, it was perfect. I like my opinions on Marvel or DC or Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon as well. You know, it's not just Last of Us I, I, I want to have a strong opinion against. But number one, and it's the easiest one to say, and the best episode of The Last of Us by a big margin, in my opinion. I think number, you know, episode eight is that one. Episode eight is miles ahead of number one. Number one's ahead of number nine by a mile. Um, and then number nine, number uh, and episode six are very close, and the rest of them are just are just there. But yeah, this obviously is the episode where again it is Bella Ramsey at the core, technically. But obviously she's got David to work with. Troy Baker's introduced. Joel has a couple of moments. The interaction where she kills David at the end is absolutely mind-boggling, with you know intensity and emotion and anger and sadness and terrifying horrible nature and i just think they execute it perfectly i think this is the only episode i gave a perfect 10 out of 10 for as well 
I just don't understand. I mean, the thing is, I'm actually looking at the episodes. That one was done by Craig. Uh, I think I'm seeing a theme. The last episode was done with Craig and Neil. Episode 8, which is my number one pick, was done by Craig. Number 7, which is my mid pick, was done by Neil. One of my other favourite episodes was Kin, done by Craig. Um, Actually, Craig did episode 5, 4, 3, 2. Hmm. Craig was very inconsistent in the series. <laughs> but yeah, I've got to admit, I'm very excited to see what happens in season 2 in the sense of will the alternate where things are placed, you know, because obviously there's flashbacks. Will it start with from a different point. I'm very intrigued to see how they put it together. But ultimately, that is my pick. Just to reiterate, the worst episode is number three. The next one is number four. Then number five. Then number two. Then number seven. Then number six. Then number, then number nine. Then number one. And then number eight. If you disagree, do let me know down below. I do enjoy having conversations with people. You know, it's not always about people having the same opinions. What's the point of us watching the same show? If we're not going to have the same opinions, it'd be kind of like pointless. Season two already exists. So don't worry, my opinions, well, my opinions wouldn't even affect it anyway. But of course, check out my future The Last of Us videos coming very, very soon. This may come out before or after my series review, but of course, stick around for that and subscribe. And like as always, thanks for watching us and goodbye.